Sanibonani. My name is uh, Professor Chirizi Marwara, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Johannesburg. I am extremely excited uh, to be addressing all of you, the Inkamana community. I almost feel like I have visited the school. Uh, in my last year in high school, three of my classmates, Sandy Lemguni, Dennis Mumalo, and Sibusiso Madlala, were actually my classmates. And they told me all about uh, the school, and I am looking forward to visiting the school. Today I am going to talk about the topic of artificial intelligence. I did a PhD in artificial intelligence at the University of Cambridge from 1997 to 2000. So I spent quite a great deal of, of time thinking about this topic and I have written uh, more than 20 books on the subject. Some could classify you as the artificial intelligence uh, generation. Unlike many from my generation or the ones that preceded it, you have grown up exposed to technology on a scale unseen before. As Peter Rajek wrote for Singularity Hub in 2019, and I quote, this is the first generation to grow up entirely in the 21st century. We'll never remember a time before smartphones or smart assistants. They will likely be the first children to ride in self-driving cars as well as the first whose health care and education could be increasingly turned over to AI machines. Close quote. The last two years, defined by the COVID-19 pandemic, has certainly injected technology into our lives in an unprecedented manner. Schools, universities, and companies have had to find ways to connect while maintaining social distancing. The need for health precautions to curb the spread of the virus has highlighted a greater shift than he had long predicted. It confirmed that we were in fact in the fourth industrial revolution for IR, an era defined by digital technology, particularly artificial intelligence. AI is a technology that makes machines intelligent. Therefore, machines can think like human beings. And as we know, the chess champion is no longer a human being, but a machine. A machine is considered to be intelligent if it can analyze information and extract insights beyond the obvious. While computers traditionally relied on people to tell them what to do, and how to react, AI is based on machines that are able to learn and make their own decision. Just like we would train a dog to do tricks, you can train AI to do quite complicated tasks. This also works much like the patterns you learn as a human being. For example, if you were to touch a hot metal object, your immediate reaction will be to quickly pull your hand away. The lesson is therefore usually learned. This sequence of events and the result of a bent hand are stored in your brain, reminding you not to repeat uh, this action. This knowledge means that next time you see a hot metal object, you are unlikely to touch it. This is how human intelligence works. Much the same, AI is based on machines, machine learning patterns and mimicking, mimicking human intelligence and in some instances surpassing it. The basic idea behind AI is to see if we can give computers some of the decision-making abilities that we as humans have. Though you may have not realized it, you are among the first generation to grow up in a world with AI. Yet, this is easy to miss as AI operates invisibly and often in the background. Smartphones, which many of you have or have at least been exposed to, 
are an example of this. AI powers voice assistants such as Siri. It informs your Google and YouTube searches. It helps you tag photos on Facebook and even dictates the order that you see photos and videos on Instagram or TikTok. To get technical, this is what we refer as a paradigm shift, which refers to a fundamental change in our systems or processes. It is clear that technology will continue to play a huge role in our lives. This, of course, changes the landscape quite dramatically. When I was in high school, I could hardly conceive of many developments we have now seen. But for you, technology is developing at a rapid and there is vast potential. What does this mean for you as you consider your next steps after school? Undoubtedly, when you leave school, the landscape would have evolved even more. The careers your parents or older siblings may have chosen may not exist in the same form by the time you leave school. It is imperative that you understand the fourth industrial revolution. What is apparent is that substantial disruptions will affect all industries and entire systems of production, management and governance, and will undoubtedly transform all aspects of the 21st century life and society. Reports have suggested that while the fourth industrial revolution will create massive job losses, making some careers obsolete, it will also pave the way for new jobs, especially in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, the so-called STEM subjects, data analysis, computer science, engineering and social sciences. By the time you leave school, the demand will be for people who have an understanding of the digital world. The science, technology, engineering and mathematics skills and traditional subject knowledge. This may be difficult to process when many of you haven't decided which subjects you will take in high school, let alone what you may study uh, when you come to university or the career path you would decide to follow after you complete your university. Let me outline how jobs may change. According to the global consultancy McKinsey and Company, you will need to excel at social and emotional, technological and higher cognitive skills in order to have a stake in the fourth industrial revolution era. This is not surprising when you consider that estimates from the website Will Robots Take My Job show that 97% of cashiers will be automated, 94% of waiters and waitresses, 96% of secretaries and 89% of taxi drivers, for example, will also be automated. This will also go into the field such as medicine, where a doctor of our time is going to increasingly rely on technology to make medical diagnosis. It is not just these sectors that are impacted. The 4IR in healthcare or accounting, for instance, is fundamentally changing the role of doctors and accountants. While it is still unclear, how the changes in pattern recognition or automation will impact every job, it is safe to say that they will all have a technological component. And therefore, whatever you do, if you are studying human and social sciences, you also have to do technological sciences. And when you are doing technological uh, sciences, you also have to do human and social sciences. Something that I greatly benefited when I was an undergraduate student in the United States of America. In a few years, this is the world of work you will be entering. I would urge you not to be scared of these changes, but rather rethink what skills you may need. Many of the learning methods in schools prepare you for this. Move towards more student engagement, 
through group projects, peer-to-peer -peer interaction, and one-on-one -on -one counseling with teachers. You are the AI generation, but you also need to be a generation of creative, adaptive, ab adaptable, and forward-thinking individuals. While I have spoken quite broadly about the shift the fourth industrial revolution will have on you all, I want to hone in on AI specifically as a career path. AI is quite a broad field that in its most narrow iteration encompasses careers in positions that cover skills such as data analytics, user experience, natural language processing, research, engineering, or data mining and analysis as an example. As the Vice Chancellor of the University of Johannesburg, it may seem strange to you, but AI has defined much of my career. I began as an engineer and the advancements in AI has informed much of the work I have done. What is exciting is that AI is no longer a niche and a narrow field. That is to say, having a career in AI does not necessarily mean that you will be programming the algorithms that inform AI system. You could be mathematically inclined or have more creative take and you would still be faced with an abundance of possibilities in the AI realm. As I have outlined, there is AI in every industry and this is only expected to grow exponentially. For example, in the healthcare sector, AI is being used to improve the accuracy and efficiency of surgery, while predictive analytics and machine learning aid doctors in diagnosis, enabling them to make more accurate decisions and allow for earlier detection of diseases. At the University of Johannesburg, as an example, we are cognizant of this shift in industries and are shifting towards a multidisciplinary approach. For example, all our first year students do a short course in AI. It doesn't matter what they are studying. Perhaps the biggest point I would like to drive here is that the fourth industrial revolution has flipped traditional notions of what you need to study. Had you been at school or university at the same time as me, you would have entered a rigid training program for your chosen field. This is no longer the case. This is not to say that a computer science degree, for instance, is not a useful route if you want to work in AI. It is, of course, useful, but there are other avenues that you could take. As I have highlighted above, it is important to know the skills that are in demand for these careers. Perhaps my biggest advice to you is not to limit yourself. There are traditional routes that hold merit, but there are also unconventional paths. The more holistic your skills are, and the more in line with the requirements of the fourth industrial revolution they are, the more likely you are to succeed in the field that you choose. What is most important is that you adopt a culture of continuous learning. This is the key to making it in the industry. The philosopher Socrates and the poet William Butler Yeats, who in turn inspired many thinkers after them, both likened education and learning, as a lightning of a flame as opposed to a confined concept limited to a pail or a vessel. In other words, do not limit yourself. Jump at all the opportunities the education system has to offer you and do not simply fill up your vessel. Be dynamic, be bold, and learn as much as you can. This is what will set you apart in an AI-defined world. Thank you. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.